There's not really uh, addressing you in Kay's place as she watches is a little intimidating, but um, there's not a whole lot to do as far as general business is concerned. Um, I do want to welcome you on her behalf as she sits there and watches me welcome you on her behalf. Um, thanks, a major thanks to Sue Ritz, like I said before, for getting me to a point where I wasn't having nervous spit downs uh, over this evening because I, I don't understand a whole lot about technology. Um, spring is coming. I, my, I'm looking out of my front window and the lupins are coming through the ground. So I feel very optimistic. I get my shot on Wednesday. I'm so excited about that. You know, so this is a good meeting. I hope you're all in the same state of mind um, because it, it's a wonderful time, right? It is a wonderful time. Um, anyway, tomorrow we begin Mark Mahaffey's workshop and, and I'm sure some of you are in that workshop. And the only thing I'll, I'll say about that is you'll get an address later tonight, a Zoom address to come into the workshop. So don't worry about it if you don't have it now. Um, try to arrive a little early and get yourself all set up. Um, it starts at nine o'clock and the materials, I think for the first day are only photographs. So you're gonna pick one to work with and then you're gonna need some drawing paper and graphite paper. So that's all I'll say about that. Um, we have somebody to honor today. Uh, Judith Cohn, K-O-H-N, has achieved her jury status. Uh, Judith, I don't know if you're here. Um, I'm going to scroll past and see if you're waving your hand. Judith, are you here? Nothing yet. I don't see Judith. I don't see her yet. Judith? No, no. No, I still don't see Judith. Well, anyway, Remember that uh, when you are back into meeting a regular time so that you can congratulate Judith for her juried status. So with that taken care of, that was the only official business that I was given. Um, it's time for me to introduce our, our speaker, quote unquote, for this evening. Um, I think I've explained it to all of you uh, in many times that because the UK is seven hours earlier than we are, it is now 11 o'clock and Graham opted not to join us live for this. So he did tape a, set, a presentation just for us. Now I want to tell you a little bit about Graham. Um, he studied graphic design and illustration uh, later at Wimbledon College, which I thought was an interesting thing in London. And he worked in various places as um, illustrators, winning awards, and, and he went on then to become a freelance illustrator. Uh, he, he has been in that, had been in that world until about, um, he moved and then it was time for the economy to go kapunk and then he decided that he was going to retire in 2017 and he became a full-time watercolorist. Um, the inspiration for his work, if you've read anything about the um, workshop that's going to happen with him, he loves people and um, his first day is going to be with on working with one person, then the second day, well, how do you put two people together? And then the third day will be groups of people. So if, you're, if you'd like to learn more about that, you might be interested in signing up for his workshop. There are still spots available. Um, he does love to go out and look for images. He takes his camera everywhere, which is something my heart loves because I'm not a plein air painter. Um, so he takes his camera everywhere and he looks for places where people, interesting people are going to be. Uh, most of his paintings, however, are studio based and he um, apparently doesn't do a whole lot of plein air. Um, his work has been in a lot of the splash books from um, North Light and uh, he, he is uh, known all over the world. His, his paintings are everywhere. 
So even though we were unable to schedule a live demo, it's the next best thing because his demo was done just for us. And so at this point, I'm going to turn it over to Sue Ritz, who will produce the demo. Hello, everyone at Southern Arizona Watercolor Girl. Hope you're all well. This is my little uh, demo for you. This is a kind of uh, painting we do on day one of the workshops. This is just a, a little speedy demo to just show the process using our usual six colours. The first wash is going to be the three high value primaries, which is the winter lemon, permanent rose, and a cerulean blue. First, these are the two brushes we use for most of the uh, tutor, uh, workshops, the one inch flat and the 16 round. Or if you're using Robert Simmons brushes, that'll be the 14 round. So it's a, that's about a one inch size that. First wash using the one inch flat. Gonna soak the paper first. This first wash is a uh, high, high key colour trier, <clears throat> lots of water, not so much pigment. This first wash has a lot of advantage, it loosens you up, covers the paper and it gets all the base, base colours down in readiness for the second wash which will be the all six colours. The, the darker values so that's now nice and wet make sure it's nice and wet yeah so i will show you the reference picture of what i'm painting from a little later it's not so yet this is a, a photo i took in uh, little rock arkansas we were there in about three 2017, three, four years ago. There's a lovely uh, highlights on the top of her. It's got a nice hat on. She's going to be nice and bright highlight we're going to keep. Lots of flowers in the background. I think she's just done been a little bit, done a little bit of shopping. So it's a nice image to paint. bit of movement, not too much detail, so we'll be quite loose with our painting. Add a bit more pigment to get some more colour in these background greens and reds and nice flowers in the background that's a uh, and a bit of more detail on a figure I'm just dragging some permanent rolls across into the lemon uh, winter lemon it's not really a lemon yellow it's just it's a way of naming it Put a little bit of flesh tone down, a bit more. A little bit on the shadow, some of that permanent rolls into these foreground pavement. taking a lot of the colour off, checking the brush to make sure it's clean before I go into a new colour. Some 
permanent rolls down there on the top. Lovely shadow there, sharp edge. And you can always, uh, if you've gone into the white island, you should damp paper towel and just lift off some of that yellow colour there. That's, that's better. Just lift off some there as well. Clean my brush, use plenty of paper towel, just make sure all the students have lots of paper towel when they're working. And we can add some cerulean blue now. Let's mix with some of the yellow of a garden behind her. That's it. Just use the edge of the one inch brush and get some nice sharp lines if you need to. blue denims on so we'll make sure they're lovely and just indicate that a little bit of blue on the shadow and I'll just add some lemon to that bit of blue and then Yeah, the woman is just starting to take shape now. It's uh, quite. It's been quite cold here, and we were looking forward to our trip to Arizona this year. Like everyone else, all our plans have been thrown up in the air. And, but now well, the vaccine rollout's really gathering speed over here in the UK. Hopefully we'll, my, my wife will be vaccinated in the next couple of weeks. And I said the old, most of the adults in England will be vaccinated by the summer, so that's Hopefully we'll be get back to normal by then. Can't wait. Okay, that's about it for the first wash, I think. Just add a bit more. find the first wash complete so I clean my palette get the air dryer on there so 
So that should be nice and dry. Now I'll just clean the palette. That hair dryer just warm the studio up a little bit, which is not, you don't mind that in winter, but in summer when we have a, I teach workshops from my studio here in Blackpool, it's, when it gets too hot, I can't really use the hair dryer. I have to, I say to my students, just put your, put your painting outside in the sun for 10 minutes. <laughs> as long as it's not raining, we'll, we'll be fine. So we switched brushes now, switched to the uh, 16 round, nice big round brush. We do big washes, we can also get a lovely point and do all the details with it. The second wash is the ratio of water to pigment is a lot different, it's more, more pigment, less water. Hopefully I can edit, or you can edit some of this mixing out if you like, but it's it's good to see how much paint I'm putting on. It's nice juicy mixes, if you can see. Obviously when I do the workshop online I'll be using all the four different cameras. This is just my iPad I'm filming with. with totally different quality when I do the online workshop but this is uh, this is fine I think for this little demo it's permanent rose a little dabble do you it's very stainy you can't lift it once it's dry so remember that And the second red is a permanent alizarin and crimson. Lovely, juicy mix up. And that's uh, next to our cobalt blue and next to each other. They'll become our, our darkest dark. The cobalt with the crimson, maybe a touch of uh, quin gold as well. Not too much mixing on the palette. Let's, let's make sure our colours mix on the paper as much as possible. But I'm leaving space in the middle of the palette and drag colours into each other. And as we work, we can pick up different colours as we work. Our final colour is the cerulean blue again. Fresh bit of paper towel. I'm going to start. I'm going to start with the background. It's a little bit of the yellows. a little bit of shadow from outside the painting. Soften some of those edges as we work. I just want to make sure we have lovely sharp just around the highlight on the lady's head. Then I just use a damp brush. Making sure we've got a lovely dark against that shoulder. Same this side.
just brings out the highlights, just a little bit of colour around the highlights, a bit of permanent rosa or crimson. Bring that wash down. Just added some crimson and cobalt with lovely dark just then. Flower, flower border there, lots of little bits of highlights. <clears throat> On the edge of the border some real nice dark so let's put that up. really bold lots of pigment Board on that background. There are a couple of little uh, little geraniums or little flowers. There, uh, we just put some of that in. Then just come straight into the little border. permanent rolls spend too long on this background I'm not too dark I'll make sure the the lady stands out to drop in a few little bits of cerulean a nice bit of variety there Start work on the figure as well and make sure that's nice and dry. So sorry about that, but I don't <laughs> want to put my hand in any wet paint. We just want to. I won't clean the palette. 
Australian with some uh, Quinn gold, a bit of bit of permanent roll, uh, permanent roll and crimson. straight down into the ladies features there's a really lovely highlight just on the side of her glasses uh, put some color down those It's a lovely dark though, so I just put a lot more pigment on your brush and just it's a nice sharp edge on that shadow. a lovely sharp highlight we're gonna keep that bit of permanent rolls Picking up a lovely dark crimson cobalt. And just have some permanent rolls. Drop in some cerulean blue. And a bit more pigment, some cobalt there. Just use a damp brush and take some colour off if you put too much colour down. Now for a lovely shadow and highlight on the lady's top and chest. Permanent rolls, bit of yellow. Now, 
some of the pattern on her top, just sort of some pure pigment in. Another dark shadow right down that side. a nice bit of blue there to soften some of the edges come into the lady's hand now some a bit of quin gold permanent rose Link to that shadow there. with a paper towel just put a lot of pigment down a lot of cobalt drop in some Permanent rolls and a little bit of a damp brush, just let them all mix together. Back to the ladies, that's lovely shadow there. links into the it's going to be the ladies jeans so that's um, rolls and then this link to the uh, Bit of detail on her handbag, her shoulder bag. And you're just beginning to get that lovely. That's what we want to see, nice little bit of detail there, just picking up a bit of permanent rolls, a bit of blue, no, a bit of crimson actually. The underside of her bag, it's a reflected light. A 
let's get cracking on the jeans with some great big So lots of cobalt there. Permanent rolls, which we're gonna It's really dark this that's why the lovely dark is you can put some quin gold with the blue and the red. Just use a damp brush to lift some of that colour. Got water on it. some nice little touches of detail on the this bike leg that links it's a bit darker than where a shoe is uh and just leaves a lovely little highlights that's Put a bit more colour there, but well, I've got that dark in. And we can lift some of that colour. She's got turnips on her jeans, so I just can lift some of that colour. Links into our shoe, lots of blue. Put a bit of this shadow in, just a bit of permanent rolls, a little bit of cerulean as well, just, just cool it a little bit there. On this, this bag is just just a little bit of the mix we've got, a little warm. Warm colour, a bit of permanent rolls. Just lift some of that. It's a lovely strong highlights on some of this and then on that foreground just put a on 
with the dry brushes, drag the brush across. few little details here and there. A few little darks. I mean, don't need to put this only a rough uh, quick demo. This is on the finished painting we could be a lot more detail with some of these little detail with washes and final darks but this is a process we go through And I think that's about it, just soften that edge. It's coming a little bit tighter on that, so this makes that, that eye like where her cheek stands out. This is what we call gilding the lily. We don't want to do any of that, so let's uh, just a final little flourish at the bottom just to make sure that's get a nice border and the painting. That's it. With a bit more colour off there. Probably a bit longer than half an hour, but I'll try to edit a bit, a bit out of it. Let's. Uh, oh, this is a bit I love. Just take your masking tape off, and you've got a lovely uh, frame around the painting already.
So that's today's little demo. Lady walking in Little Rock. Just find a little detail, make sure I can just. Graham Berry. Okay, everyone. Thank you. And uh, we'll see you for the online workshop. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Take care.